Oh. Coral reefs. Christine Bard Bertini. Coral reefs. City under the sea. The shallow ocean waters look calm, but under the surface, a coral reef is a busy place. Hundreds, even thousands of different creatures swim and hide along the reef. There they find food and shelter. They make their home in the city under the sea. What did the coral reef say to the water? You're, at, you're so shallow. You flip the book around, you see that it says, you're so shallow. A coral reef is a very important ecosystem. More sea creatures live along the coral reefs than in any other part of the ocean. Reefs are found in many spots around the world. Most reefs grow in shallow, clean ocean water on either side of the equator. They need sunlight and warm temperatures year round to survive. So this is um, the orange spots are all where the coral reefs are. They are surrounding um, Australia and Indonesia and and India and China and Japan and the Middle East, a part of Madagascar, the Caribbean islands, and finally, um, finally a little bit of Hawaii and the Pacific Ocean. Reef builders, a group of coral polyps, a coral polyp up close. Coral reefs look like they're made up of rocks, but in fact, there are groups of animals called corals. Corals. Each coral group is made up of many separate coral polyps. In reef ecosystems, there are two kinds of coral, hard and soft. Only hard coral polyps form reefs. They're named for the hard skeletons they build at the base of their soft bodies. This is the hard coral, and when the hard corals make reefs, this is soft coral. They're squishy and soft, and they, um, they don't make reefs. One coral polyp can be as small as the head of a pin, but when many polyps join together, they can make a reef that can stretch for miles. Fan coral with open polyps. So there's actually the hard coral reef. New polyps build their hard skeletons on top of old ones. Over many years, these layers of skeletons slowly grow into a coral reef. Why did one reef say to the other? Say to the other? Don't be so hard on yourself. In the zone. All coral reefs have three zones. The reef flat zone often stretches toward land. The crest zone is the highest part of the reef. The reef slope zone faces the open ocean. It is the deepest part of the reef. Reef flat zone, crest zone, reef slope zone, and then there's like a diagram of the coral reef zones. So the reef flat zone and then the crest zone is like the top part, and then the reef slope zone is when it's going down and down. The animals and corals that live on a reef are different in each zone. Neighbors on the reef. So these are all like the neighbors on a reef. Creatures big and small can be found on reefs or around the world. Sea stars travel uh, along a reef surface. Giant clams rest there too. Tube sponges stretch up from a reef like small shinies. Seahorses wrap their tails around pieces of coral. Sea turtles swim around reefs. There isn't a picture of a sea turtle. Eels hide in a reef scrap. There isn't a picture of an eel either. Sea star, giant clam, tube sponges, and seahorses. Many animals use camouflage to hide along the reef. Some use it to stay safe from other animals that could eat them. Others use it to hunt, used it to hide while they hunt. Reef stonefish. Can you find the stonefish in the picture? Well, it's over here actually. The trumpet fish is actually this. These ones. And then the cuttlefish is this.
If you see the eyes, they're small and blobs. The trumpet fish is this one, and the reef stonefish is this one. A stonefish's bumpy body blends in with the coral. A trumpet fish dives down and holds still. Its long thin body stretches up like a tall sponge. A cuttlefish can change its shape and skin color to match the coral reef. Wow, I did not know that last one.